I probably could have spent the night at my mom's house. You know, it's about 40 minute drive, but for an extra 20 something, I can go home and cuddle with my wife, man. I gotta get back up in about three hours to go to um, our Sunday client. So I'm just gonna make this drive and, um, you know, spend a little time with my wife, a little bit, just cuddle and whatnot. Cause I really don't want to go to my mom's house and spend the night on the couch. I just, I just not really feeling that right now. Just made it home. It's about 4:30 in the morning. Gotta get up early and be in Houston by nine o'clock. So it takes about an, a little bit over an hour to get there. So um, I guess I'll wake up at like seven or something. And, you know, head down there. Morning, morning, morning. It's about 7:50. Look at this beautiful day. So, 7.50 right now, about to head down to work. Should be there right at 9 o'clock. Uh, a few hours of sleep, man. But it was worth it. Uh, I'd rather sleep in my own bed than a couch. So, yeah. But let me uh, show you my damage to my Jeep from yesterday. Look at that. So, what I need to do is really just unbend this middle part probably get under there later try to hammer it out or something but yeah guys I backed up into it the other day so yesterday actually but it still works everything's running everything is good so long day guys so 7 to 3 or 7 to 2 7 to 2 I mean crap man I'm, I'm barely waking up let me see 9 to 2 is when I when I work this market and I'm off for a little bit with invoices and payroll and uh, some other things and then I'm back on it from 7 to 11 and I'm home yeah right, let's get it so just got to my site well I've been here for about like 30 minutes got to record but um, yeah, getting my gear ready. Hopefully, it should be a good day. It sounds like it, it seems like it's gonna be real, real hot out. Unfortunately, but yeah, it's a uh, gonna be a quick, easy shift. I usually just sit over here, just get my chair. Baltimore Ravens fan, Ray Lewis, best linebacker of all time. Get over there, set my chair on, just sit. I'm really waiting on uh, one lady to come so I can detain her. But that, that's really only why they need security over here. But it's nice, a little 9 to 2. So uh, hopefully it goes good. So I just got off work. It's about 2 o'clock. Uh, the, the market was real slow today. I think it's just too hot for people to come out, to be honest with you. Um, I think there was 15, 15 vendors that showed up. Usually there's about like 40, 50. So I think it was just too hot. I think a lot of the vendors are saying that they're going to take off all the August, you know, the rest of August. Because it's just too hot and they're just not making money. So we'll see how long this contract, you know, goes for. But, you know, I think bigger bigger things are coming, definitely. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just hot. <laughs> so I just made it home. Um, eating some torches tacos. Let's see. Killed one already new YouTube video out now I don't know if y'all can see that or not and also I'm billing clients today three or four clients I believe and then sending out payments so it's about three o'clock I got a, a haircut appointment at five and then going to work at seven so just another day in life so I'm on my way to my last event of the day uh, it's, six, it's about 6.30, should get there at like 6.50, 6.45-ish. Uh, my barber didn't show up, don't know what happened, he needs to refund me his money. But I did get around to, um, what's gonna call it, invoicing two clients. I have two more to go, um, the pay period ended today, so I didn't want to be a, an a-hole and invoice them this day of, so I'm gonna invoice both of them tomorrow. And uh, one of the clients already uh, paid.
paid. So I love it when a client pays uh, quick. Uh, she texted me, I sent the invoice, and then she paid it immediately. Probably about like 30 minutes after I sent it. So uh, gotta love clients like that, guys. I need more clients like that. Come on, girl. <laughs> he wanna act like he got his life oh, sold so together. Bad, wrong with him. He wanna act like he's so sober. Oh, oh, Courtney, don't worry about it. I'm gonna see you. All the videos. Fuck this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> man, hold on, man. 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 This, this nigga wanna act like hello, my ring. We just left out. Man, I just try to walk up, see what's going on. I see a nigga I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We were just having fun. What a dude that can't talk to him? No, no, no. 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 Dude, come here, man. I ain't talking to him. I apologize. What's wrong? Oh, no, you good? No, Papa, yeah. just make sure everything's okay. Everything's okay. good. We're good. As long as nobody don't go to jail. I'm not going to. I'm not. That's always. That's a hey. He knows what I'm saying. I'm not. That's what I pay for, right? This is my contract. This is what I got. It goes above and beyond what I even pay for. Man, I'm like, for real, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he, he, he went over there. Let me know when y'all make it home. You have a good night, man. Be safe out there. I'm sorry, y'all. No, hey, hey, liquor, I understand. It's all good. Yeah, liquor courage. Liquor courage, all right. Mm -hmm. Stopped over here at Bucky's, guys. But. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> What's up guys? So I got home around like 1, 1 30 in the morning and then woke up, took my wife to work. Other stuff, so I just didn't get to like conclude the the weekend. Today's Tuesday now. But you know, I really went in that event. Excuse me. Dave Van Hall, it was a two year old's birthday, two, three year old birthday party. And I you know, I thought it was gonna be a real easy shift, but whenever you mix alcohol and hookah and you know maybe they went out to, you know some people went out to the car and smoked you know it's whatever you mix that you can't really mix adult parties with kid parties because they're always going to try to be more adults and in, on, in all honesty looking back at it there were more adults than there were kids there's probably about like three four kids there you had some adults in the bouncy house you know it got to a point where the bouncy house pulled a wire out uh, i think it was a cable wire out of the wall because they got stuck on it so the owner had to come back so she was she was pissed off 
and it just it just went bad so i don't know if i'm gonna put the fighting in the video yet i still don't know yet i'm about to edit this right now and upload it but it was really over nothing it was really over a guy's girlfriend sitting next to another guy and that's how everything blew up that's how it started so um you know adults are gonna do some super crap but at the end of the day it's about the kids you know i'm glad the kids were all right i'm glad no one was really like hurt you know he, he swung missed her you know kind of hit me a little bit you know but it is what it is especially in this this, this uh industry stuff's gonna pop off especially when you mix liquor with adults who can't you know want to act like children but yeah guys that's just my weekend long long weekend man but yeah